to relax, grab a drink, because today we're going to do a wide shoe and accessory video. First, I just want to let you guys know that these shoes were sent to me to review, but the opinions are my own. I hope that you will consider subscribing. I really love this company because they have true wide width shoes like you would find at Torrid. In the spirit of accessories, I decided to wear my glasses, which I like never wear for videos, except for the live videos. And I decided to wear this headband that I have been obsessing over from Torrid. I know I already showed it in my Torrid video, but in case you missed it, I just want to let you guys know I've already worn this so many times. I love it, love it, love it. Without further ado, let's jump in to the goodies. First shoe that I tried is this wide width heeled sandal. It comes in three colors and it's $29.99. I all of my shoes are in a size 10 in case you want to know. I actually wore these out and about shopping and my feet did not hurt until like the end of the night when they would kind of hurt no matter what. These are very short, just a low block tail, which I think looks really cute on. It kind of just dresses up any outfit as you're seeing. This was just me. <laughs> out and about shopping and I really love this outfit because it was like cute and casual and comfortable so kind of just hit all the marks of what you'd want. Now these sandals there's four color options $25.99 and they are so worth it. I thought they're so comfortable and they're so easy to put on because they're the band around the ankle is a little bit stretchy so there's no zippers there's no tying there's nothing you just slip them on and off easy peasy of course they're flat and there is just like a small amount of cushion nothing major so don't expect like these to be super cushiony but i've worn these at least five times already and they're super comfortable and they're like kind of my go-to now just because they dress up an outfit and make it look a little bit classier than your standard sandal but then they're still super comfortable and really easy to put on so i highly recommend this pair these next shoes are a ballet flat they come in different color and material combination seven different options they vary in price from $12.99 to $29.99 and I got mine in the gold metallic which I think are really pretty I love gold and silver and rose gold basically all the golds I think they're great as a neutral to kind of spice up an outfit because you have that little bit of shine and shimmer at your feet still very neutral and very classic that could go with pretty much anything you want to wear obviously this is great for the office if you need a, a nice work shoe that is still going to fit your wide foot this would be a great option for you also just for anyone because who doesn't like a little pop of gold on their feet now the next pair I decided to also get in beige just because, you know, I was just feeling a very beige moment, I guess. Color options, and these are $26.99. These are very comfortable as well. They're still pretty easy to put on. There's no zippers. What you do is you just slip your foot in, and what I like is you can kind of loosen the tie on the top of the foot to kind of fit, you know, how big your foot is. I had to loosen them a little more than they originally came because your girl's got a wide foot. So having them a little bit looser fit very comfortably, and they fit just like the first ones I showed you, except it's just a little different style. If you're wearing a dress and you want to wear something besides a flat, this is a great option because it look stressier still but it's still very comfortable because the heel is so low so this is a great option to have in your wardrobe and this next shoe is $23.99 and there's four different colorway obviously I had to get the rose gold because I'm a lover of rose gold um I really like the braiding detail across the foot I was worried that that might kind of like dig in or something the braiding isn't flush so just keep that in mind but I it's not too tight though it fits comfortably which I was really happy with because a lot of times other sandals that I've tried that have like the extra straps they just can get to be too tight so I was really happy that this wasn't that way and this is just a great casual sandal just to throw on your feet and go but I feel like with the braiding and the fact that it's rose gold it kind of dresses it up a little bit more so so, you know, it's more than just your standard Old Navy flip-flop. <laughs> so those are the shoes that I have for you. I'm going to show you guys the backpack saga. So if you guys saw my Target video, you saw some backpacks that I asked you guys to weigh in on. And after hearing your guys' opinion, I didn't feel like I was done searching yet. I did agree with a lot of you that the brown backpack was probably the cuter one of the two, or the cognac to be exact, but... I just wasn't completely sold still so I went to Ross which can be a hit or miss as we all know unfortunately obviously I won't be able to link them because you never know if they'll be at your local Ross but if you do have a Ross near you I would definitely go check it out see if maybe you can score any of these ones for yourself if you really love 
This first backpack I thought was so cute because it has the two straps here so you can kind of hold it like that because sometimes like when I'm going in and out of the car I might want to just hold it for a minute. I don't want to like put it straight on my back. So I actually like that there's two straps here so I have that option. Then of course I love the studs because I just love studs. I love everything with like a little edge on it and this one was only 20 bucks so not bad at all. I have a zipper out here in the outside pocket and then you have the main compartment zipper in here and then you have little pouches and you also have a zipper portion here so it really pretty much fits everything i need yeah it's not like heavy duty super high quality probably won't last forever i definitely wouldn't overload it but the straps go quite long enough where it fits great in my back and i feel like it's just the perfect size where it's not too big or too small i was lucky to find it in two colors and i'm not sure which ones i'm going to keep except for of course i'm keeping this because i've already used it and I really love this color because this is a great like hope I really like it just because I feel like it's a good neutral and again you have the same exact features same price same exact brand and everything and I've worn it out and it was literally perfect for everything I needed just have like some sunblock a water bottle my wallet and a hairbrush and that's like literally all I needed and it was perfect and then I could just easily get some phone or keys out here now I am more tempted to keep the black version as well because I definitely don't want to keep a million backpacks the other neutral color that caught my eye was this one I thought it was cute because I like the quilting on it and then I thought that this buckle was really cute as well again it has those straps up top where you could hold it like that and then it also has these side little pockets which I think is nice just to throw like chapstick or your keys or something in there and then you have the opening of course here as well which is really nice um there's the pockets pockets here and then the zipper pocket which is great for just kind of keeping things a little more organized and as you can see this one is bigger it does seem like it's a little more heavy duty the straps are a little more beefy so i think this will probably hold up pretty well oh yeah and there's a zipper pocket here so there is quite a few compartments with this one and the straps are thicker if that is something that matters to you last backpack was $24.99 this one right here was $34.99. It's the most expensive and you could probably already tell why. It's very nice quality. It's from the brand Aldo, which is a little more pricey. This one originally I think was $80. I want to say it was $80 originally. So it's very, very nice. The straps go long enough for me as well. It's a nice structured bag where the other ones um, are not structured, which I love actually that it's not structured. But then I also think that the structure look is really nice and classy for something different. Obviously, I thought all of this quilting, which is absolutely stunning. It is so, so pretty. And then it also has this little pocket right here. This can turn into a wristlet. You can just unhook it and literally use this as a pouched wristlet and it has a zipper then. I think it looks cute just sitting here having glitter popping out and then you have this gold chain. It just adds a lot of style. So to me, this is very like sophisticated and beautiful. And then on the inside, we have our pockets and then we have a zipper here. Obviously, I've already used this one. So this is another one that I am for sure keeping. With the fact that I am keeping this last one and the first one, let me know if you think the other two are worth keeping as well or if you think I should return them and keep my sights out for something different that I might see in the future. We might even just keep the two that I've already used and call it good at that because I feel like I kind of have a good balance. I have like my neutral color that's like a little more casual and then I have like this black one that's a little more classy. Wear either one for a little more dressy or a little more casual. So I do love all of these backpacks. Really love to maybe do more accessory videos in the future. Um, just let me know if you guys like to see stuff like that. I was thinking like maybe some things like jewelry and more purses and bags and things like that. If that's something you'd be interested in seeing more of, please comment below. Like this video if you did enjoy it. And also please comment below whatever backpacks you liked, whatever shoes you liked. I always love to hear your guys' opinion. Thank you guys so much for watching and remember to just be you. Bye guys. <laughs>
they didn't stop to think if they should comment below if you know what quote that movie is from without using google peace